Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video we talk about dynamic routing based on user credentials with API Gateway. My name is Babur and I am a developer advocate for Apache API 6. Dynamic routing is powerful feature of most modern API gateways that allows you to route incoming requests to, uh, in real time to different backend services based on various criteria such as HTTP headers, query parameters or even the request body. You will learn the following in this video how to dynamic routing traffic with API Gateway and uh, why we need actually this dynamic routing based on the user credentials and I will show you in my demo how you can use a JWT token claim based dynamic routing with Apache API 6. Dynamic routing traffic with the API Gateway can be used in a wide range of applications, scenarios to optimize the performance, improve security, and ensure that users have access to the appropriate resources. For example, system can balance a lot between different servers or services, and also dynamic routing can be used to route traffic based on the geolocation of the user, uh, this can help to ensure that users are connected to the closest server or service, improving response times or and reducing the latency. Oftentimes, you want to route traffic to specific services or passes or show only the data related to the user based on user-provided identity. For example, in multi-tenant applications, different tenants may have access to different services or resources. In this case, API Gateway can route the traffic only to the appropriate tenant resources based on the user credentials. And uh, one of the common approach to use uh, JWT tokens to authenticate and authorize requests to APIs. This means we can create a complex routing rules with API Gateway that take into account the claims uh, present in the JWT token and uses this information to decide where to forward the request or what data to show. This approach is particularly useful when you have a multiple users in the system that require different levels of access control. With enough theoretical knowledge, let's take a look how to use JWT token claim and dynamically route the request to the proper backend service. We use the existing public backend API called Conference API in reality that can be your backend service. This API can retrieve sessions, speakers, and topic information. And assume that you want to filter and retrieve only sessions belonging to the specific speaker who is logged into the system using its credentials such as JWT token. Uh, for example, this request shows only sessions of a speaker with unique ID and this unique ID comes from JWT token claims as a part of it is a payload. Look at the below decoded token a payload structure. There is a speaker ID field also included. In this scenario, we send the request to the same route at API Gateway and it computes a dynamic URI from the authorization header and forwards this request to the URI. See the below diagram to understand the flow. To do so, we are going to implement the dynamic routing at the Apache API 6 API Gateway level based on the JWT tokens claims, uh, so the use of different uh, plugins. On my public GitHub repository, you can find the step-by-step -step instruction on uh, how to implement this demo on your own. Uh, just make sure that all the prerequisites is uh, in the installer, let's say you have a docker installer on your machine, we're going to use uh, uh, curl commands for uh, sending the request to API 6, configuring upstream route and plugin configs. Of course, you can use other tools such as Postman to interact with admin API of API 6 and make sure that uh, you install API 6. There are several ways of doing so. One of the easy way to install is just following a quick start guide. And we are going to also use uh, as an identity provider Okta. It means you need to have an Okta account created or you can use other identity provider. And then make sure that you configure it, the claims. Uh, I'm gonna show you soon how to create a custom claim and you need to request token that contains this custom claim called speaker ID. 
In this demo, we are going to use uh, three plugins of API 6 uh, OpenID Connect plugin that can interact with identity provider, in our case, Okta. And uh, also, we are going to use serverless pre function to write our custom Lua function code that can uh, extract the JWT token claim from the header. And then we'll also use a proxy rewrite plugin once we have extracted the claim from the header to determine which URL path needs to be used for retrieving speaker specific information with, a, let's say, speaker ID and forwarding this request to the respondent passes. As we are using as identity provider Okta, as you can see, I have my account is created for Okta and I registered new applications for uh, using the Okta as authorization server. As you can see, I have some client credentials and secrets and some the setup uh, is uh, here, like how we are redirecting after successful sign in or sign out. Uh, basically, you can follow this uh, tutorial to how to set up API 6 with Okta. There's a guide, like I can leave this link in the video description. And also, after one, you create the, the application, you need to go and navigate the security uh, the part and choose the API to create your custom token for your default server. And now, in my case, I have only single server register, but you can add more servers. In this session, you can also create, go to claims and add your claim. Uh, any custom claim you have. In our case, our uh, claim for the token is speaker ID uh, with uh, any sp speaker related unique ID that can be many speakers here, depends on the users of your system. So, uh, in my case, only single user of this uh, claim. And once you add this claim, it will add to this, uh, cl this claim to the JWT token payload. And also you can check on the token preview section by specifying how uh, it looks like your token is a generated token and so on. Uh, just make sure the disclaim is in place and we will now we will start to uh, configure uh, route upstream and plugins on API 6 side. In my case, I'm running the API 6 project with Docker and a couple of Docker containers are up and running. As you can see, uh, I'm using Docker Desktop uh, on my Windows machine, uh, these containers are up and running. So, uh, one, first thing we need to do, uh, we should configure the TPA backend service for Conference API that we want to route requests to this backend service. This can be done by adding upstream uh, server uh, in the API 6 through the admin API uh, by sending this curl command as you can see we are giving the name for the conference API and specifying the node as a conference API uh, endpoint and we are using a HTTPS as a secure communication purposes uh, so we just uh, copy this command uh, this command example you can find also on the github repository if you put on the terminal and press run now we created now our first uh, upstream next we set up the new plugin config object uh, so the admin api we set up a new plugin object with three plugins like openid connect plugin and proxy rewrite plugin and our serverless pre function plugin with uh, some custom code and uh, you, you need to replace of course openid connect uh, attributes like a client id and secret and also the introspection endpoint, the discovery endpoint to your own uh, Okta details before you execute these uh, curl commands. And also here that can be uh, some uh, misunderstanding in the above uh, configuration. Uh, the how we are writing custom code uh, here, uh, we are writing custom code Lua uh, using the Lua programming language. As you can see inside the per serverless per function, you can write any serverless code. Uh, this code uh, can be uh, difficult to understand. Let's break down each step of what we are doing in this code. First, uh, we are retrieving uh, the JWTT token from authorization header using this uh, code and also we are removing beer prefix from this token and we are decoding this token 
using uh, uh, GWT libraries uh, and we are driving uh, value of speaker ID from the token claim and then finally we are storing the speaker ID claim to this uh, dedicated speaker header variable that's how uh, this uh, code uh, works uh, of course we collect this JW token from OpenID Connect and this uh, once this speaker ID is set up to head as a header uh, and or URI uh, proxy rewrite will take from the header and put to the URI so uh, once everything is clear we can just uh, copy this uh, color command and put it in the terminal and run here we go now uh, API 6 says ok Next step, we uh, configure new route, and this step involves uh, uh, the, the using the plugin config that we set up in the previous steps and the upstream uh, service. Uh, but we just specify them by zero ID. We give and also our custom URA passless sessions, and uh, also every for every get request, uh, this plugin config uh, start work and uh, will forward request to this upstream. Uh, so let's uh, run this curl command once again and API 6 uh, responds ok after configuring the upstream plugins and route on the API 6 side now we request a token from Okta that contains our speaker ID custom claim you can follow the guide that includes information on building a URL to request a token with Okta or simply use the following resulting URL are generated uh, with your Okta issuer information like you can replace it with your client ID and uh, you can specify the redirect URI and also specify response time ID token because we need ID token in the open ID scope uh, this state and nonce value can you can read on Okta documentation what it means after you pass this uh, request let's say to your uh, browser browser with redirects to the sign-in page if you haven't signed in yet for your Okta and generates ID token as you can see now uh, this token uh, ID token we can use uh, to test our dynamic routing because this uh, the raw JW token has a uh, speaker ID claim finally we can verify that the request is being routed to the correct URI pass based on matching criteria on uh, the authorization header like we have GW token uh, uh, received from Okta if now we just uh, run uh, curl command uh, to the ses slash sessions of uh, API 6 API gateway route uh, you will see the result let's uh, run this curl command and here we go as you can see now the result the outcome is as we expected because it is returning as the sessions information uh, belongs to a specific user in our case a speaker ID is specified and speaker ID is set to 16 or you can set to any ID and API 6 route the request to the relevant URI uh, and return all the sessions of the speaker Basically, API 6 uh, replace it and build a custom URA pass from the JW token claim by taking the speaker ID here. Here is some of the takeaways from this tutorial. With API Gateway, you can route traffic to different backend services as we've seen so far based on the various criteria. Also, you can achieve dynamic routing depending on user attributes specified in the request header or in the query or in the request body and the one of the way to implement uh, this capability or this feature using Apache API 6 or any identity provider thank you for watching if you want to learn more about Apache API 6 please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos